Thank you so much. I was going to play you a song that I wrote for my dad, actually, tonight. Um, you guys keep my dad in your prayers, okay? He's in the hospital right now, and he's old, and um, he's just like my whole world, you know? He and Scott, and, and Dave Wolf, my manager, who's been with me since I was 22. Those three men are like my mountains, you know? And I, and I just, my father, there's just no greater man to me, you know? And, um, So this was uh, written um, for, uh, how much record was it? I think it was Better Than Home. And it was weird that it took me this long to write this song because um, the things that the song's about took place when I was very young. And the story just goes that my dad um, left my mom for a woman that happened to be very mentally ill. So she had this fear that he couldn't be around us, couldn't be around me. So I wasn't allowed to be with him for my growing up period. And then the, the true story in, in Shogun, I kicked the, the crap out of her because she showed up in a private, I was finally going to see my dad at Father's Day. And, um, and she came and she was drunk. And she ripped off my necklace at the table and I got up and I beat her so bad. This is bad, but I just lost it. And I beat her up so bad and all the dudes at Shogun, they're these, uh, it's an Asian place where they cook on these big giant things that are out in the center of your table. And all the, the Japanese dudes jumped under the thing and they were scared, everybody was scared. And, and then I knew they called the cops, so I took off running. I called my girlfriend Becky, and I'm like, dude, you gotta come get me. I beat the crap out of Susanna. Anyway, my dad called me that night. He never called me. He hadn't called me since I was six. And he said, and I was 23 at this time. And he said, kid, if that mother ever messes with you again, you kick the crap out of her again. <laughs> and he ended up leaving me. I don't know if he left me over that, but well, we don't know. But the beautiful thing was that when I got diagnosed with mental illness, it was the first time that I no longer had rage and hate. I had so much rage and hate towards her. I wanted her to die. But when I got diagnosed, I went, oh my God, she's not cruel and a monster. She's ill, she's mentally ill. She doesn't know what she's doing. So, long story, sorry, I tend to talk too much. Um, but this is for him and for her. And it's called Tell You One.
never kiss you The way that I miss you What kind of lies just should tell you Tell her you were fooling Someone was definitely trying to bring joy to the world. Woo! I love them.